Well, Yusra Samash is the Director of Advocacy and Communications for Yemen at Save the Children. She joins us now from Amman in Jordan. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, Yemen was already considered the world's worst humanitarian uh, disaster, and it just seems to keep getting worse. I mean, were you at all surprised then to find out that this many small children are actually on the brink of starvation? Um, we're unfortunately not surprised. And um, what uh, the UNICEF uh, numbers that have been released today shows us is that um, the war is continuing, children are going hungry, and um, the, the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic is spreading in Yemen. Um, so that is also happening uh, on the backdrop of a lack of funding and children are paying the highest price in Yemen. Right. And I mean, given the state right. of the global economy and the fact uh, that the war in Yemen is continuing and there's no political solution in sight, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if fundraising goals were not met again, you know, to ease this crisis. So are there any other means aside from international donors to try and deal with this issue? Yeah, absolutely. So, yes, we need donors to step up and any um, decrease, withdrawal or suspension of funding uh, will have um, an immediate and long lasting impact on children. Uh, but right now, the only solution to this crisis is um, first a ceasefire so that um, those involved can work on battling the coronavirus um, outbreak in uh, Yemen. And in the long term, of course, the the, the, the only solution is uh, a political one, and that is sustainable peace, because Yemen can no longer continue uh, battling COVID-19, um, a shortfall in aid, and a conflict at the same time. Uh, Yusra, if you can describe, actually, I mean, what's happening then on the ground? Why can't basic foodstuffs just reach these children? I know international aid is lacking, but these foodstuffs usually aren't that costly, yet still something is just not allowing children to get the most basic necessities. Describe what is happening on the ground so that children can't get their, met, their needs met. So COVID-19 restrictions have had an impact on um, global food supplies, and that has in particular also impacted Yemen. That has uh, um, also uh, been uh, for quite some time uh, relying on, on food imports. So any of uh, these restrictions that are um, imposed because of the COVID-19 uh, preventing measures are having an impact on, uh, on, the, on the supplies. But you also have Yemen that was experiencing, um, I mean, uh, an economic collapse. So um, the fact that now the economy is, uh, is getting worse is having also an impact uh, on the ground on these families. But you still have to think about these families that uh, were relying on that daily income, like working in markets. When you have a number of markets that are now closing down um, for, for understanding uh, measures, I mean, for, for, for preventing the spread, that has an impact on their ability um, to uh, provide um, to, to provide for their families and, and children are always um, the first ones to to be the most impacted by by that lack of food. Um, so that's what we, we're seeing on the ground. Um, but but beyond food, I also wanted to to bring also the issue of um, water sanitation services. I mean, uh, what we're also hearing is that. Um, Families have difficulties um, to access to clean water at the moment, and it's really crucial to um, prevent the COVID-19 um, spread, uh, as well as uh, um, ensuring, of course, that uh, um, families can have uh, access to, uh, to that clean water. Uh, we're hearing that because of that lack of funding, um, 3 million children will no longer have access to uh, this water and sanitation services by the end of June. Uh, you know, quickly, you were saying that because of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the logistical supply lines seized up. I'm wondering if, if that frustrated you because the international community could have made an exception for Yemen, possibly, and that they're not really understanding the severity of the crisis there, and you can't just stop 
the supply of basic foodstuffs going into a country where millions of children are at risk. Exactly. I mean, there's always been uh, access challenges in Yemen, uh, but the COVID-19 restrictions have just uh, added on an additional layer um, of uh, difficulty for, for us to be getting um, the right supplies in, uh, in, the, in the country. Um, that said, organizations uh, like Save the Children are working hard still to reach the most vulnerable children despite these challenges and to mi minimize the impact of um, both the reduction of fund and um, the difficulty to, to, uh, to get supplies to ensure um, the continuity of, of services for, for children and their families. Okay, Yusra, Samash, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it.